Good morning. It is Monday morning, uh, Labor Day, meaning it's time for some Motivational Monday. My name is Christopher Dinell. I'm pastor at Urbana United Methodist Church, and so glad you're joining uh, in today for some quick motivation to start your week off. Uh, this past Saturday, we had our men's group, our Bible study that we've been going through the, the book of Matthew uh, for the last, uh, I think, seven or eight weeks. Uh, we've been meeting all summer. It's been a really good conversation. And um, we've uh, we started actually at the Beatitudes, and we're just now, which is chapter five. We're just now in, in chapter seven, um, and it's great to have a bunch of different perspective, perspectives around the table and to challenge each other and to um, give each other new insights maybe that others didn't hear or see before. Um, but as we were reading. Um, chapter seven there's a lot about judgment in chapter seven and uh, we like to stay away from that word right we feel like well don't judge me and i don't want to judge you and uh but there is some judgment that happens as we walk out our faith um uh with each other and always in love and always uh, as a friend and never as uh, just a point at people um but it also talks about taking care of your own stuff first you know a lot of times we want to uh, judge others before we ever look at our own stuff we like to say everybody else's house is dirty without ever examining our own house so with that um we were talking about verse uh really 15 uh through 20 in chapter 7 and it talks about the tree and its fruit it talks about false prophets um and i'll just read it to you because it's it's kind of an intense little section of scripture but I, there's a, a good motivation here for you i promise uh beware of false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep that are really vicious wolves you can identify them by their fruit that is by the way they act can you pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles a good tree produces good fruit and a bad tree produces bad fruit a good tree can't produce bad a good tree can't produce bad fruit a bad tree can't produce good fruit so every tree that does not produce good fruit is chopped down and thrown into the fire yes you can identify a tree by its fruit so you can also identify people by their actions and uh the word you can identify people uh by their actions <clears throat> and that was an easy uh, target, if you will, for us to start saying, well, yeah, there's people out there that are trying to hurt us or trying to mislead us or misguide us. And it's really easy uh, to sit around a table or with anybody and and say, there's other people out there that are doing bad. And there's other people who are, are, are doing wrong things. And I brought up the point, I said, well, what about instead of talking about other people who aren't in the room, because we don't even know who they are, we're just generalizing. What about us? Have we ever been a false prophet? Have we ever seemed harmless and actually had some vicious intent uh, behind it? Have we ever had some bad fruit in our lives? Have we ever uh, had some rotten fruit in our lives? Um, have we ever uh, started down the path of becoming a bad tree, if you will? Um, and I think that's that, that was the point, was we should probably start there. Um, we probably, I mean, yes, you need to have discernment and wisdom, you don't want to be taught just anything. You want to test everything, right? But start by testing yourself, right? Start by saying, am I misleading, misled in anything? Am I, you know, not following truth in any place? Am I pulling people away from where they should be? Have I been a false prophet? Have I, have I said things that discourage people instead of uplifted them when really I was just trying to correct them? So I think we start with our own house, right? We clean our house, you know, even just a few uh, sections before this in the same chapter seven you know why worry about the speck in your friend's eye when you have a log in your own how can you think of saying to your friend let me help you get rid of that speck in your eye when you can't see past the log in your own eye again that's not saying we should never challenge people or help people or tell people that they're doing even wrong and helping correct them but start with yourself uh, don't generalize don't talk figuratively about uh, people, right? Let's let's know people. Let's know situations, because uh, I mean that's almost like a soundbite from the news. All these people are doing X, Y, Z. Well, that's probably not true, right? There's probably some people who are doing X, Y, Z, and you probably got to discern who those are. But start by examining yourself. Where have you uh, bared bad fruit? Where have you missed God? Where have you misled people? And uh, uh, start there. And so the motivation is don't generalize. Uh, don't talk around uh, issues about people. Talk about yourself first. And then I think God will reveal uh, how he can use that to help others. So have a great week and we'll see you next time.